Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to add the off sanctum middleware right here. So before anyone can view any of these routes, I need to have a token. Now, before I actually basically add the middleware, I want to see if anyone can view the articles. Let's go. Right, so as you can see, we got all the articles right here. So if we can just press send, we get all the articles back right here. Right, so if anyone is questioning why I'm not using mozi.test, the badger.test one project that we had is basically corrupted somehow, and I'm just using this one for the purpose. It's still the same, just a different name. Right, so let's quickly add the middleware and see what message we get back. Right, so let me just quickly add the middleware right there. Right, so as you can see, we get a back a message to say you're unauthenticated. Right, so what we want to do now is we want to create a login. Uh, endpoint so which we already have we're just going to add a request and this is just going to be auth login let me just do like this auth login okay so we that's going to be a post route remember this route were created with the laravel breeze api installation All right so we're just going to go to the mozzie login this one right here and then we're just going to go to the headers and we're just going to accept and json all right like that and in the body section right here we're just going to basically use the email the email is going to be john at example.com and that's going to have a password or password remember this is the user that we created in our cedar right so if anyone is new so on the database cedars uses cedar right here so we created john right there okay so let's move on now the thing is, as soon as, let me just save this, as soon as we hit this endpoint, this locker, okay, right? Just remember it's gonna be a post route. So if we hit this point right here, what I want to do is I want to return a response, okay? A response with the new token, and that token is what we're going to use in here. We're gonna add, right now it's like no auth, and we're just gonna add the batter token and add the token in here in order to view those articles. All right, so let's quickly do that. Right now, with Auth Sanctum in the rounds part right here, you will see we have the Auth rounds right here. As you can see, we got a login, forgot password, register, and all the rest. Now, with the login right here, what I want to do is I want to go to that store method right here. Okay, instead of returning a no content, I want to return a JSON. Okay, so let's just return JSON. Okay, and in here, I'm just going to do a couple of things. But before I do that, I just want to get the authenticated user. So user is equal to the auth. You can do auth user like this. Okay, totally up to you. Uh, or you can just do auth user like that. Okay, totally up to you. Right now, in this case, what I want to do is I want to return basically a success. And we're just going to set that to true, do like this, and then the data that we want to send back. Now the first one, this one is going to be the token, all right? Now the token is equal to the user that we just created, all right? And then we're just going to say create token, all right? And the token name is basically going to be this user, and we're just going to get their name. And then we just want to send it as a plain text token. Like this. All right, so that's the first part. Now the second part, I'm just going to use the name of the token. The name of the token is just basically the user name. Okay. Now, and the message. Okay. So the message that we want to send is user locked in. Right, so after basically if we hit this round, authenticate the user, the recess the basically regenerate the session, get the user, and then we just want to return this response right there with the token. So this is the token that we're going to use to authenticate the user. All right, to make sure that they can be able to view the articles. Okay, so let's quickly go. Right, so in postman, let's go to the login. So let's press send. All right, so as you can see, we got a success of true, and we got the data. This is the token and the name, and the user is logged in. So let's quickly copy this token right there. And let's go to the 
bearer token. So under the collection itself, you will see authorization, prerequisite script, test, and variables. Now on the authorization, if it, it's going to look like this. Just go to the type of bearer token, and let's press this right here, and let's paste in the token right there, and just press save. Right, so once we saved it, let's go to the articles right there. As you can see, it's auth unauthenticated right now. So let's press send. As you can see, we got all the articles showing again. Right, so that's how our token works. Right, so thank you guys for watching. So this is the end of the episode. So if you have any questions, please ask them for me in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios.